Minecraft. Deja vu! It seems like we've already just had two episodes about this, but yet there are still more viewer questions to answer, and so we are going to go back into exploration and tactics. We're going to pick right back up where we left off last time. I was in a cave system with a bunch of monsters, and doing some caving and answering some questions. And so let me just hit escape for a moment to give the world a little bit of a better chance to load. Recall where I was at in terms of inventory and whatnot. And we will try to continue. I hear a spider. Is he right above my head over here? Yes, I just saw him for a moment. Hello, spider. I would like you to hop down here and I can kill you. Or perhaps I can shoot you with the bow and arrow right here. Ha! Take that, spider. All right. Let's see. Right, there are two parts to this. I am caving and I'm also answering questions that people have asked me from a Q&A session. Whoa, you have a crazy enchanted bow. Uh, a Q&A session that I did on the Mindcrack subreddit. But I need to deal with a couple of skeletons before I can do any of that. Where? Oh, you're still around. Oh, holy crap. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, let's stand in the water. Let's eat some food. Eating food is good. I can pick back up my water bucket later. Darn it. Although it would be handy to have it now. Crap, crap, crap. I... Yep, dip, dip. <laughs> ah, what a start. It is morning. I woke up a little while ago. I was like, hey, why don't I play some Minecraft? Sometimes it's better if I warm up a little bit before I just jump into these things. This might have been one of those times. All right, but I think, I think maybe I'm gonna live. You gotta remember I've got a fire resistance potion up on me if I need it as well. All right, I think I'm gonna live. Uh, and so I think we can get back into this. All right, so why don't I go ahead and get my first question from today on deck. And it seems to be a trend, but our first question is gonna come from Vaughn from Just Van on the Reddit. And Vaughn's question is, because so many of your viewers are young, do you feel obligated to be something of a positive role model for them? Thank you for the question, Vaughn. Um, yeah, and I thought about this, and I was tempted to just say no <laughs> and leave it at that. Uh, but I guess I do have some other things that I can say about it. All right, let's try to light up a little bit more around here. See if we can make things a little safer, and then we'll go back and collect some ores, perhaps. Um, it's actually, it's not as bad around here as I thought it was going to be. This is a pretty kind of open cavern system with a bunch of different hazards and open areas in different directions. Hello, Enderman. Um, yeah, so in terms of, like, positive role model kind of stuff, I don't know how many people, uh, watch all of Etho's videos and remember this. Um, Etho had a video once a while back, it's probably months ago at this point, um, where at the end of one of his videos he talked about uh, the importance of washing your hands to stay healthy. I see you skeleton way over there. Can I get you without getting the Enderman? That might be non-trivial. Uh, perhaps we will come back to you. Um, yeah, Etho was just kind of like talking about uh, how he noticed when he washed his hands more, he got sick less. Um, and I thought, hey, that's a good thing, because I'm sure Etho has a bunch of young people watching his videos, and that's like a good message to spread and good for, I don't know, public health in general kind of things. And so when I saw that, like, I thought about that, and it's like, hey, you have, you have a big audience. You could, like, do something positive with it. And so I've thought about a few different things. Um, I thought about, I use some big words occasionally in my commentary and thought about like trying to do like some kind of vocabulary building thing just kind of like on the side uh occasionally in episodes or whatnot um and but yeah i've never kind of like found the right thing that was interesting for me to do and seemed like it would be informative but also still entertaining because i know the main people or the main people the main reason that people are here is for entertainment and to relax and to enjoy the game and occasionally learn about the game. I do a lot of Minecraft science, um, which is both, oops, entertaining and potentially useful for people who are trying to learn more about Minecraft and how to play. Um, let me 
kill off a couple guys here. All right, that was that was a much better job than last time. It helps when they don't have enchanted fire bows. Um, and yeah, I basically. What I want to say is, I definitely, I don't feel that there's any kind of, like, obligation to be a good role model. Like, I'm just doing this to have fun. And so, for example, like, I don't really curse much in real life. And so that's the reason that I don't curse on the channel either. It's not because I'm trying to be a good role model or a good, you know, person for people watching. It's just like, that's how I am. And yeah, for the most part, any of the rest of it is also, it's just like, how I am or what I feel like doing and so like I don't know I'm playing the way that I want to play the game and I'm doing the things that I think will be fun for me uh, and if those are positive then that's good and if those are negatives well that's not as good but uh, that's what you're gonna get um, yeah because yeah I'm doing it for fun and so whatever is fun is what I'm gonna try to do and so maybe I'll think of good fun positive things to do and maybe not and yeah we'll see with time but I, I try not to do anything that would treat uh, the channel and recording and stuff as an obligation because it is not an obligation, it is a hobby uh, that I'm doing to have fun. There's that creeper. I remember seeing you earlier, I believe, out of the corner of my eye. Oh, ouch. I thought I was going to be able to hide back around the corner of the block there, and it did not work out. So thank you, Vaughn, for that question. Hello, another creeper. Monsters like to spawn in bunches. Hello. And I can't hide behind a water pillar, I don't think, because I think you can still see me there. But I can give you some knockback so that you get far enough away that I can finally kill you and get your gunpowder, which is one of the things I'm trying to collect in addition to ores. Although I'm not ver trying very hard on the ores. People were pointing out in some of the previous episodes that I tend to miss a bunch. And it's true, because I don't, I don't really need them for anything really in this world right now. I have pretty good stocks of most things. Uh, but caving is fun, and so that's what we're here doing. All right, uh, Vaughn has another question, and so why don't I get back to that, since that's kind of one of the main purposes of this episode. What are your favorite and least favorite aspects of Minecraft LPing? And I guess I will start with least favorite, um, because those are relatively constant and easy to uh, remember and enumerate. Let me first see if there's any good way. I can just drop these on the floor. Goodbye, Iron. I'll come to get you in just a moment. That moment being... Na oh, hello, Creeper. Why don't I kill you before I hop down there? Do, 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 do. Oops. Oh, you are you pathfinding to me? That would be amazing if you were. He was looking right at me, and then he started walking that way. And I wonder if there's some complicated stairway that gets him over here. Enderman, you are an idiot. <laughs> Oh, crazy Enderman. And I hear my phone ringing in the background, but I'm not going to answer it right now. Hopefully you guys can't hear it very much. Uh, Alright, so that creeper ran away, and I'm kind of nervous about him. Least favorite aspects about uh, making LPs of Minecraft um, would be kind of like all of the... I don't know if you want to call it like busy work associated with making videos. Um, Rendering, uploading, making descriptions for every video, organizing things into playlists, uh, putting the proper tags on things. Uh, all of those things are not particularly fun, uh, but they're things you mostly need to do if you want to make videos. And so those are things that I do not enjoy and kind of my least favorite aspects. I have some more torches right here. Hooray! Of creating Minecraft videos um, and LPing. In terms of the game itself, I also... Oh, crap, crap, crap! Found you! <laughs> you just walked right down here. You were just hiding in a hole, waiting for me to turn around and start mining some ores. Clever creeper. All right, and I hear a bunch of skeletons over here, too, so let's try to be careful. In terms of Minecraft, I talked a bit in the previous video uh, about bugs in the game. Uh, and so they bother me, and so they're, for the most part, like, the game is one of my favorite things. Like, I enjoy playing Minecraft. That's why I play it a lot. Um, 
But yeah, the bugs definitely bother me and are like my least favorite part of the game aspect to the extent that you're asking about, you know, the game as opposed to kind of like making videos. Because uh, it sounded like Vaughn's question was kind of going in both directions. Um, all right, there's nothing down there. And I've got plenty of coal. I still have a bunch of torches, so let's continue. And there was just some iron down there that I was going to leave behind. I'm sure I'm leaving lots of ores behind. It's definitely, I'm still not great at trying to, you know, answer questions or tell stories while I am playing the game. Uh, because I'm not naturally a good storyteller or just talking about random topics. Like, it's much easier for me to talk about topics that are kind of like happening in the game and presenting themselves in the moment. Such as the skeleton, who wants an arrow to the face and then apparently wants to get smacked by my bow because I failed to switch weapons before I went to try to go and hit him. Um, all right, we're down here at the lava layer. We might find some good resources. Uh, yeah, things that I like the most. Uh, I said the game. Um, I enjoy coming up with ideas, especially like clever things that I think are clever, at least uh, an original kind of ideas for the game. Uh, and that could be... Uh, science experiments to do an exploration and tactics. It could be ideas for entire uh, series, like the end of crafting. Um, ideas for speed challenges, like I've invented a number of speed challenges. And so that's another thing that I really enjoy and as a chance to like, kind of like, show off my own creative aspects uh, in the game. And that's one of the reasons also that I like Minecraft so much and that it's probably one of the reasons that you haven't seen any other game content on my channel is because I, I admittedly I don't play that many games to know but of the games that I do know I don't know that many that offer as many kind of like creativity possibilities and you kind of like make your own fun in the game or whatever um, and so I like Minecraft for that aspect a whole lot uh, and that's another aspect of it that I like for, you know, LPing and video making. It's just like the chance to apply your own creativity, whether it be to the uh, game or editing or all kinds of different things. Etho is very creative when it comes to uh, video editing and ideas. Like, he does all kinds of silly things. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just lost so many diamonds because I got casual and lazy. And you get what you deserve. All right, from now on, when I'm mining diamonds at the lava layer, and even gold at the lava layer, I should just always throw down a bucket of water. I thought I was far away from this lava, and there wasn't going to be any more, and there was more, and now I feel foolish. There you go. See? Look at that. I'm not being a positive role model, kids. I'm being lazy, and I'm paying for it. Uh, all right, let's see. What was I talking about? <laughs> um... Right, yeah, things that I like about uh, Minecraft LPing, coming up with clever and original ideas, as well as competition. Like, I am, I enjoy competition or being a competitive person for the most part. Uh, and so speed challenges, as I talked about before, are one of the things I like in Minecraft the most. Uh, and because it's just like a chance to be competitive in some kind of fun arena. And yeah, I've talked before, like I also like being competitive in other arenas that are fun to me. And so like programming competitions and um, the crazy different kind of like fun puzzle competitions that they had at Microsoft when I was working there and different things. And so, yeah, I think that mostly kind of answers all aspects of Vaughn's question there. In terms of least favorite and most favorite aspects of Minecraft LPing. This is actually a pretty good cave system. Like there's a lot of places to run around down here at the lava level. And so I'm just gonna light a bit up collect some resources, and move on to the next question. Our next question comes from Hot Pocket Remix, who asks, do you think there will come a point where your channel is too large to manage effectively yourself on your own? Uh, I know that a lot of semi-large channels have community managers, uh, other people who do things like managing video comments and uh, inboxes, and do you have any feelings about uh, this for your channel? Like if your channel became large enough, uh, would that be a viable option? Uh, and so totally 
yes, like I don't expect my channel to become that large, but if it did and like there was opportunity to like offload some of the work to other people, I would happily do that. Um, yeah, the stuff that I just talked about was kind of like least favorite work. I think I would still want to deal with uh, the comments on the video um, and the inbox and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if people could like help out with like, you know, rendering and uploading and descriptions and tagging and um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Like if I had like people to like help with that, um, that would be super great because then I could focus more on the parts that I enjoy the most, which are coming up with ideas of things to do and talk about and then executing and, you know, like just going and playing the game and doing those things and talking about it. Um, yeah, in general, like, I think, yeah, division of labor, uh, is a good thing in many aspects, and it's just kind of like a matter of, uh, finding the right scale and, yeah, people who would be good at it. So, yeah, if I was, like, making millions of dollars on the channel and could afford to pay people to do that, I would totally do that. Um, let's create some more torches, torches, torches. Brian's gonna create 28 times four more torches. Hooray! Okay. Moving on. Let's try not to fall in any lava, because that would suck. I'm up to level 24 already. I haven't killed that many monsters, it doesn't feel like. Uh, some darkness over here. Doesn't look like we're gonna find a lot of, oops, that was not a sprint jump. Doesn't look like we're going to find a lot more ores and things over here, maybe. So maybe I should go back up a bit. Let me figure out where I'm going to go for a moment, and then we'll move on to the next question. Let's try. Oops. I really should spend more time also kind of like focusing on movement through caves. Like I did a little bit of speed caving a while back. Like trying to just like move through caves extremely quickly and i think that would be really useful for uhc and for some other things um i don't feel like i have my movements down very well yet uh that's why i'm just jumped down from somewhere and died poor slimy uh oh i see some darkness over here let's go over here and let's also queue up the next question i hear another slime not sure where he is yet uh, the next question is also from Hot Pocket Remix. Do you have an ultimate aspiration for your channel? Something you've always wanted to attain, but haven't yet? Uh, and this is another question where uh, I'm tempted to just say no <laughs> and move on. Um, but no, I'll say more than that. In general, I am not a person who is very aspiring, I guess you could say. I live very much in the present, for better or for worse. Let me make this a little brighter for you guys, so you can see me pushing the zombie into the lava. Ha ha! Hello, creeper. You wanted to sneak up, but sadly, there was some water currents over here that you were having a hard time negotiating as well. Meanwhile, all the other zombies in the game have found Brian due to their 1.5 social zombie behavior. We'll get that gold on the way back, and at least try to get to one dead end over here, maybe? Yes. All right. And I did see some other cave intersections along the way right here. Oops. Let's not go up there just quite yet. All right. But let's do be careful over here. Another thing that I have noticed is I think about 99 out of 100 times that people think that they've lit up a cave system and then get surprised by mobs, it's because there's a hole in the ceiling. People tend to not look up uh, often enough, and so it's easy to be like running through a tunnel and not notice that. I wonder, I haven't noticed if you change your field of view in Minecraft, like you can stretch it out to like, you know, like the Quake Pro, and like, I know you see very far to the left and right. I don't know if it stretches out like the up-down at all as well, so that you can kind of like see higher and lower, which would be uh, somewhat useful potentially. But yeah, I like the normal field of view. I think when you switch to those other field of views, while they're good for doing like PvP maps and being able to see people sneak up from the side and trying to like get around the side of you, like it just looks really weird on the screen the way that it gets stretched out. I would have a hard time getting used to that. All right, we're gonna need to pause for just a moment because I need to create another iron sword because mine is about to run out and it appears to be the last. 
And so, let us throw down a crafting table, create ourselves a new sword, I hear a skeleton, but I don't think he's kind of like immediately sneaking up on me. While I'm here, let's go ahead and throw down the ender chest just for safety. Oops. That's not a good place to put it if I want to open it. And put some diamonds away. I'll just toss some redstone and that in there. I'll compress the redstone. Actually, since I have the crafting table out, let's go ahead and compress redstone into blocks. If you have multiple stacks, there's no good way to kind of like smear them all around, is there? Like, uh... I mean, you can do that kind of thing, but I've got two stacks of 64 in here now that I'm not sure any kind of good way. I guess now they're probably about one stack, and so I can, like, pick it back up and then go... Like that. That's, that's the sound effect that it makes when you're smearing stuff around, by the way. All right, so we got a little bit of kind of, like, compression going on there. Um, I have made a lot of iron during this journey, so that is terrific or made, found, whatever the word is that I'm looking for. I'm just babbling. All right, we have this. We will pick up the ender chest. We will get good blocks on our bar and we will get back into the action. Um, yeah, I live very much in the present. Uh, I tend not to think much about the future or the past for that matter. Um, it's just kind of my nature, and so yeah, I don't really have any aspirations for the channel. I kind of started it as a hobby, and two years later, like, I'm still enjoying doing it as a hobby, although it's kind of a regular hobby. I have a habit, or I tend to be the type of person who, like, gets into habits, or... Oh, wow! You're wearing full chainmail! I hope you drop a piece of that. And I'm glad that I just made a new sword. Yes! Oh, enchanted chainmail pants! Let's take a look at those. Glass Protection 3. Chain Leggings. While it is possible to get chain mail from villager trading, in general, like, I tend to not enjoy using villager trading for anything because I think uh, villager trading is, like, one of the least interesting aspects of the game for me. Like, it's fine for other people who don't like to go exploring and gathering up all the materials. It's kind of like a quick and cheap way to, like, get stuff. Um, but it's extremely boring for me. Like, if I want to get, if I want to get stuff like chainmail armor, I want to get it by, like, killing rare mobs. And so that's awesome, and I hope to eventually obtain a full suit of chainmail armor that I got just from beating up mobs that were wearing it. And I can't remember if I've had, I think I might have already had chainmail pants, uh, from a rare drop before, so I'm not sure if that's something new or not. Uh, but that's still exciting for me. And it is time to move on to another question. So yeah, I don't really have aspirations uh, for the channel or kind of for life in general. <laughs> uh, which is also potentially like not a good role model thing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or a neutral thing to not really aspire to much. I don't know. All right. Uh, next question comes from someone named Labtech901. And that person asks... Do you regret having two names? And by two names, I presume they are referring to Brian slash Lorgon111. Uh, or Brian MCN is my Minecraft avatar name, and Lorgon111 is my channel name, and my Twitter. And yes, I think I've talked about this uh, briefly before as well. When I first created the channel, I was just trying a few names and like tried picking a few names uh, to see what I could get. And this was one that I kind of grabbed without thinking about it too much, and it worked. And so, uh, you know, it was a name on YouTube that wasn't already taken. Um, but yes, now it is. It's been kind of pain in the neck, like, having two names. And then as a result, like, it's harder for people, like, if they know, you know, Brian and Minecraft, like, where to go. Um, but at the same time, like, at this point, like... Uh, I just have to accept it and embrace it, and so that's something that I've been trying to do uh, on the Minecraft subreddit. Uh, my fan server flair says uh, Dr. Lorgon111. My Reddit name is the same as my Minecraft in-game name of Brian MCN. Um, and but yeah, I've also you know like Brian Dr. Lorgon111 uh, is fun to say. Like I can't remember. 
I don't remember if it was Steve or Kurt uh, who might have first started calling me doctor like on camera or something. And I mean, I do. I have a PhD in computer science, and so that's fine. And it's kind of, I don't know, fun to show off, but also just like a fun little addition to your like name or nickname or something. And so it's also, it's, yeah, can be kind of a good thing as well because... I don't know, you get more air time when people are saying your name when it's a long name. It's kind of stupid, but uh, whenever Kurt says... I thought that's how that worked. Pretty sure if you place uh, water down inside of lava, it just replaces the lava and doesn't turn into obsidian or lose your water bucket, although buckets are one of the glitchier parts of the game. Uh, there's some redstone lying on the ground over here, and there's some more redstone ceiling up here. Hello, redstone! I want to mine you. Some of you just went into the lava. Oh well. Like I said, not all that interested in collecting the ores because I don't really need them. More interested in the caving and the monster killing and trying to find dungeons, which I don't know if dungeons are rarer like down at the lava layer depths. I feel like I find more of my dungeons in the middle of the map, uh, but that's something that I've never actually tested before to know if they spawn completely randomly or if the height layer kind of interacts somehow. If anyone happens to just know the answer offhand or has looked at the game code or something, feel free to let me know. But let's go back to viewer questions. Uh, yes, so I've embraced uh, Brian, Dr. Lorgan 111. Yeah, when Kurt says, you know, Brian, he often says and then stops and says Lorgan 111. And so, yeah, at this point. Those are my two names, and I tend to use both of them, and yeah, I've gotten used to it. It'd be better if they were one name, but oh well. What can you do? Uh, next question comes from JoelX1000 again, the creator of the Ruins of the Mine Crackers map, who asks, who inspired you to start doing YouTube videos? And I've talked about this before a couple of times. I don't remember all that well for sure. I definitely watched... Uh, X's Adventures in Minecraft. I think I also saw, like, Paul Soros Jr.'s, like, How to Survive Your First Night, and possibly saw some Ko's Quest early on. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the timing was, but I saw those guys doing it as some of, like, the big Minecraft people on YouTube, and I basically thought to myself, hey, that looks like fun, I could do that. And I also thought to myself, I could do it better, uh, because there's no, there's no lack of ego when it comes to Brian. And yeah, so I wanted to do it and I wanted to try to like put my own bent on things and try to get better at doing it. And I've definitely, I definitely think I can say that I've gotten better at this whole YouTubing, let's playing, commentating, all the words that I'm trying to come up with here because I'm such a good commentator, words. Uh, yeah, over time, like if you go back and watch my first videos, like every aspect, from the video editing, to the audio quality, to the commentary, to the creativity, to the tone of voice, to the fun that I'm having, uh, have all gotten better over time. And I think that just comes with practice. And so anyone who wants to you know, try starting getting into Let's Playing should just, you know, the best way to try to do something well is just to do it and do it and do it some more and get lots of practice. Practice makes better is a, I don't know that it's really a catchphrase of mine, but something that I've said on more than one occasion. It's something that I believe is true. Um, so it's good to practice at things. And yeah, at the beginning, you're probably going to suck at whatever it is that you're trying out something new, but over time, you'll get better. Uh, and then, yeah, I usually find, for the most part, that I enjoy things more when I'm better at them. And so that'll just get you motivated to do it even more, and then you'll get even better, and it's a good kind of cycle going on positive feedback cycle, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I hear a skeleton. Not sure where he is. I see some gold. I'm sure where it is. It is right here. Haha! -ha, now it's in my inventory. Take that gold. And the creeper fell from over there. Gotten a little turned around once again, so I'm not sure where I have and have not gone. Let's try swimming up here. It looks like it's dark up here. And while we're swimming, that's a good time to eat because it's one of the few times that you can eat and not slow down your other uh, movements in the game. Swimming and climbing a ladder. A couple of the times that you can eat without slowing down your movements. All right, it seems to be a dead end here. Let's move on to 
Uh, oh yeah, Joel X. So yeah, what inspired you doing? The, uh, those are some videos I remember seeing at the beginning, and I just decided to try it out. And so, I don't know if you call them inspirations per se, or just like the whole notion of Let's Playing being a thing that, you know, at some point in the past I was not aware of, that people would play video games and talk about them. And once I learned that it was a thing, and also started playing Minecraft and was like, hey, this game's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I guess that inspired me, you know, just in and of itself, that there were people who were interested in watching this, and I ended up becoming one of those people. Because, yeah, I watch, you know, well, it's definitely the case that I spend a lot of time making and editing and rendering and, like, all the other things associated with videos. Uh, I also watch a lot of videos, especially nowadays when Season 10 of Minecraft Ultra Hardcore is going on, uh, which I encourage you all to watch, because Ultra Hardcore is super fun, and those guys are entertaining. Uh, all right, but I think I have successfully answered that question. I need to take a brief moment to do some inventory management, and I'm going to do that off camera, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 